Well, yeah, it's time for another rousing round of Fallout 4 Survival plus this absolutely insane core. That's right, I said insane core run through Fallout 4 with all the parameters I'm listing up on the screen. And you can check out the video description for a complete rundown of exactly what I'm doing here. Um, I'm now at the Cambridge Police Station. I want to go down to the um, Cambridge Polymer Labs to acquire a hazmat suit since I can't make any purchases. I have to find a hazmat suit out in the open somewhere, and there's one down at the Cambridge Polymer Labs. Uh, the only thing is, I'm going to have to fight for it, and I need some food. I need some food. Good old Cram. Cram, where are you, sweetheart? Cram, 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 Cram. One Cram, please. Thank you very much. I am properly fed. Anything else? No, I'm just tired. I'm tired because I have not slept since the beginning of the game. I have not slept a good night sleep since the beginning of the game. That's another thing we're going to do right after the Cambridge Polymer Labs is go down to the wreck of the USS Riptide, which is right in the middle of this bridge here. There's actually a good bed at this raider camp there. A real bed, not a dirty mattress, not a sleeping bag, an actual real bed that you can get a full night's sleep in. Once again, it's going to require some fighting to take that over. There's also a magazine there I want, definitely. Right, so that's the plan. This is the lab's riptide run. Let's do it. And I meant to leave my uh, this thing here, the short laser musket. Yeah, I think I'm gonna dump this. Hopefully, it'll still be here when I get back. So I'm gonna need all the room, and I don't need this as well. There we go. Let's go. Just passed by the Fraternal Post 115 to get some XP for discovering the location and juke down this alley here. We're not going to do the Cambridge Polymer Labs as normally. That is the whole um, piezonucleic experiment. I just want to get in and get out. So we're going to take the shortcut. In we go. And there is Molly. Um. I don't need to get into my charisma suit Welcome because uh, Cambridge do something Labs. different here. Employment opportunities await in the field of scientific research. Shall we begin your application now? Sure. Sure, I'm game. Let's begin the interview. Due to increased demands for staff in all fields, we have condensed the employment test accordingly. Question one. Do you possess previous experience with polymer synthesis? Okay, now, if you threaten Molly, okay, you may not have known this, but if you threaten Molly, she'll assign you the job of security guard and give you some free, dirty army fatigue, so that's what I want to do. I could bust your chassis open and we can see what polymers you've got in there. Calculating yeah. test results. I am pleased to offer you the position of security personnel. We look forward to having you chase off interlopers. Would you like the orientation before beginning your work in the labs? No, move it along. No. Let's just move it along. Due to staffing needs, we can forego the orientation at this time. Please follow me to the research lab. Yeah, so I never knew this. Begin your work. I discovered this by accident. Beverages are provided for employees. Please label any food or cigarettes you leave in the break room. And the weapon of choice here is definitely going to be the minigun, because these ghouls have a way of, well, killing you. <laughs> Especially with crappy armor. Okay, so what do we got here? A quantum and a bottle. Okay, should be a Nuka Cola there. I want all these bottles inside the lab itself, the lab proper. You can get purified water from any sink or water fountain. So, yeah, any bottles here? What's going on here? Oh, oh my. Okay, my keyboard went haywire there for a second. Okay, so it's okay. It's okay. And we're good. All bottles, calling all bottles. Oh, squirrel on a stick. I didn't know that was there. Okay. Not those. It's got to be in the lab. That will give you dirty water. Here is your security uniform and flashlight. Please take a moment to dress in your proper work attire. No, she gave me a security bit on. The research staff will greet you on the other side of the clean room. If you're really lucky, she'll actually give you a shock baton. 
Okay, so here we go. We got um, some dirty army of these. This will bump up our strength by one, which will give me an extra 10 carry weight. So out go the Raider Leathers. Don't need those anymore. Um, don't want these patrolman glasses because all they give you is perception. And what, like I said, perception is Thank useless in this run. I take that rat away and that's it. Please enter the clean room. I have been instructed to inform you that Director Elwood has issued mandatory overtime due to uncompleted milestones. Consequently, staff will not be allowed to leave the labs until the facility where the project has been completed. Report to the project leader, Dr. Elwood Wollum, for specific research assignments. Just filling up the bottles here. Okay, you know the deal. Once you get into the Cambridge Polymer Labs, you're locked in until you either complete the experiment or you find a way out. This time we're just going to simply find a way out. I already know how to do this. I just want to get these ghouls excited here so they come. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, I mean, got it. mofos I know there's more of you don't don't like fake me out like this I know there's one over there yeah I knew it bring it come on here they come yeah I mean you come out of here back up back up oh he's still alive third <sighs> bracket <laughs> yeah, once again, I've got dick for armor, and it's going to remain like that throughout this entire run. Unless I get lucky. Okay, that, I think that's about it. Let's switch over to, oh, my minigun is almost empty. I want those. Okay, you can make a run over there. There may be a guy inside. Swing it around. Okay, we only got 13 rounds, so um, I'm just going to drop the minigun now. It's too heavy, and 13 rounds is not going to do us much good. That'll save us a lot of weight right there. Okay, there we go. And get another weapon slack. There is the hazmat suit. That's what we came here for. And let's just find a way out. Another blood pack there, I didn't know that. Okay. I just want to speed run upstairs. There we go. Right up here. Up the ramp, up to the secret passageway here. Oh yeah, I forgot to take something for, uh, where's that Nuka Cola? <clears throat> Pardon me. Here we go. Okay, this is bring us around to the room where we can release this security alert. There's a guy right there. And there's some traps on the other side. So you're like, you're sandwiched between the two. This is a bit of a bitch. Gotta act quickly. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Okay. What do you got? Give me that ammo. Forget about the money. And let's go get that cryo mine here. Get ourselves a cryo mine and disable this laser trip wire. Very good. Now, to get ourselves out. Like I said, you have the option of completing the experiment. I've done that before in other runs. There's no no need to go over that again. Or just hit up the uh, facility defense system systems and hit up the emergency override facility breached. There we go. And we've completed the optional objective of finding another way to escape the laboratory. So now, be advised that all turrets are now hostile against you, as well as Molly. 
Molly is now your enemy and she is a force to be reckoned with. Seriously, a force to be reckoned with. He has a turret right out here. There we go, leveled up. Yeah. They're on to me now. Can we put some more points in strength? Yes, we can. Bump up that carry weight. Okay, so I'm at 185, including my dirty army fatigues. That's great. Yeah, that's great. Alright, now, to get safely out of here. Turret up there. There's Molly there. Where's my laser gun? Let's hockey that sucker up. Okay, jet. <laughs> Sorry, Molly. <laughs> it's my job. Very good. And that completes the mission. We just have to get safely out of here. A little more water. And we're good. Game says I'm parched. I'm hungry? Okay, let's have some cram. That didn't do it. Let's have a little bit of corn. That didn't do it either. Really? Okay, is this one one of those situations where the game is dicking with me? It is. Jeez, okay, I ate too much. I wasted some cram. Okay. Let's get out of here. Like I said, all turrets are hostile. Molly's down. And I've taken some considerable rads. I think it's time for a rad away, although this is going to give me uh, suppressed immunity, but I think I'm going to risk it. And now that I'm right near a drinking fountain, a good drinking fountain, it's the best time to do it because I use that to recover my health. And I got tons of rad away too. Okay, so I'm supposedly I'm hungry. Let's eat that. I'm using up all my. There we go. Okay, my sl rads are slowly going away here. Oh, I don't need to drink. Okay, that's good. Health is back to normal. Excellent. I think it's time for Mr. Burns. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Burns. Okay, there is a turret out there. We have to be mindful of that. Just take cover and do the sucker in. Likewise on the other side. Haha. Uh -huh. Can't touch this. Very good. We're out of here. Oh, wait. Let's go to the bathroom. Hit up this. Get some stim packs. And we are Oscar Mike. Okay, two choices. We could go straight for the USS Riptide. With it, which I think is a bad choice. Because this is going to be a tough fight. Or we can go back to uh, the Cambridge Police Station, have a nap, save the game, and then go on down and take on these guys. Also, I'd like to take them on in the light of day, because I may be doing some sniping, and it would be great if I had good visibility. So that's the plan. Let's do it. Okay, I'm just going to spam this sleeping bag until morning. I have to sleep three hours at a time. One thing I noticed that they did with the update 
is um, check this guy out. <laughs> Acrobatic ghoul here. Yeah, uh, with the last patch that they issued just before they made survival live for consoles for Xbox and PlayStation, um, I noticed that when you spammed a bed, let's say a sleeping bag or a dirty mattress, before if you spammed it for say like 12 hours, you'd wake up, you'd eventually wake up like really, um, really hungry and really thirsty. But now they don't do that anymore, which is great. Because if you just simply want to pass the time using a sleeping bag or something like that, you shouldn't be penalized for it. Although some may disagree. Okay, here we go. Wreck of the USS Riptide. This is going to be tough. I know a way to sneak on board the bow, though. This is going to be uh, greatly to our advantage if we pull this off. Um, the Wreck of the USS Riptide is a wasteland survival guide that will give you 50% more health from all fruits and ve fruits and vegetables, including um, wild mute fruit, you know, stuff like that. Wild mute fruit, regular mute fruit, corn, etc. Okay, so all those will get 50% 50, 50 more healing power. There's also um, a mini nuke on board, but I'm not going to take that. And most importantly, there's a good bed, okay, according to the parameters of this challenge run I'm doing here. I'm not allowed to use any workshops to build stuff. So I can't build a good bed whenever I hit up a settlement. Okay, quiet on the set here. This is going to be pretty heavy. Uh, let me just hockey the right stuff here. I want uh, the sniper rifle up and running as well as the laser rifle. Sniper rifle. Laser rifle. Um, do I have a Nuka Cola Quantum? Could get difficult. I have lots. Okay, let's put that there. And um, we have Jet. Do we have Jet? We have Jet. We're ready to go. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay, here we go. Fucking cow! Could use a buff out too. And a med -X. There we go. Wired for sound here, boss. Wired for sound. Okay, great. He's sitting down. That's, that's great. One down. Great. Nothing there now. Here comes the dog. Me. You're dead. Shit, shit. Still kicking? Cease! Okay, phew. <laughs> it's always a panic. Is somebody offshore shooting at me? Oh my gosh! Die! Yeah, this is a great place to make a standoff because they can only come at you from one direction. And there's a guy in a power armor out there, although I think most of them are dead now. We might actually be able to get into the cabin and even sleep. Presuming that here's the magazine. Bingo. Ah oh, man, come back! I was having fun. We can't sleep because there's enemies. Okay, no problem. We gotta take care of that guy. That's okay. We have good position on him. Need to pick me up. Only a fucking coward hides. So why are you hiding? Okay, I'm gonna like. I got like jet on a hair trigger here. Over here. Just getting warmed up over here. Okay, we still got we got a shotgunner. Damn it. Okay, I believe it's only the power armor guy left. Oh my gosh! Hey, there he is!
please die, please die. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> Good old jet. <laughs> I think that about desert. All right. Cushioned Raider, this is like, uh, reduces your fall damage. Don't want that. Might want that. Definitely might want that. Can't use any of those because the parameters of this run is no power armor. Tactical Heavy Pipe Rifle. Take that on a board, make some comparisons. We're going to eat you, doggy, right now. Yum, yum. Okay, there you go. So let's take a look at our mute fruit. Pre previously, it would give you 10 HP. Now it gives 15 HP. Okay. Don't want any of that. That's a melee guy. We'll take that. Take a pipe pistol just for the ammo. That goes out. And you know what? I'm going to save the game now just in case I do something really stupid out there like run into a mine. So this is not all wasted. Okay. Um, let's say uh, 24 hours. Sleep around to the next morning. 22 hours. What's our situation? We're hungry and thirsty. We're merely hungry. How about some cram? Good old cram. Still parched. Uh, or is, nope. What's our situation? We're good. That's it. Very good. Excellent. How's my carry weight? Got lots of room. Alright, so let's just grab everything and then we'll sort it out later. We already did that guy. We already did that guy. You're done. There is a mine we have to watch out for. This has got me in practice runs. It was right before that chest there, right in there. I think I see it. Come on, you little fuck. There we go. Oh my gosh! I hate that mine. It's like you see the chest, you go, all right, loot, and you go running in and ba boom. You know? Haha. -ha. Can't touch this. Da, 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 da. Okay, so lots of 38 cal ammo, 45 cal ammo. We're going to start collecting that. A bayoneted hardened pipe sniper rifle. Sniper rifle. Damn. Too bad it doesn't use the right ammo. Okay, so forget it. Um, I will take one Molotov. Another bed in here, that should be a buff out. And some gum drops. What's your story? Open them up. Nice. Nice. Okay, let me just sort through this. I'll skip ahead and give you the results of what happened. Okay, pretty good. We got a pocketed welded raider chest piece, which increases your carry weight. This is fantastic. I couldn't ask for better. So now my carry weight is up to 195 instead of 185. This is fantastic. And uh, I don't believe we got anything new in the weaponry department. We still have this uh, bayoneted heavy pipe rifle, the laser rifle, my pipe bolt action sniper rifle. Yeah, everything is the same, but a lot more ammo. Yep, so that's the results of that. Let's go save the game. And then we're going to continue on into Diamond City. Q 
cute. I made it. <laughs> That's always a little hairy. Yeah. Okay, so we're, we're, we're well rested for a change and everything's good. Sleep an hour. Nothing happened. We're not hungry. We're not thirsty. I don't think we're even addicted to anything. Oh yeah, we are. Jet addiction. Which is minus one agility. That is very tolerable. No problem there. That's it. I'd like to call it a run. And I'd like to thank you very much for watching. And if you thought this video was remotely entertaining and or informative, please subscribe to my channel for more kick-ass follow-up videos. See you next video.